Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I have a, a Gershon Poly Gel uh, nail kit review for you today. So, um, I know there's lots of different ones floating about, but I wanted to give it a try myself because the reviews have been pretty good. So, this is the really pretty, pretty box it comes in. It's like a matte finish. It's really, really nice. I really like that. The beautiful colours. It's really, really nice. And it's quite big. I can't actually fit it under the under the camera. So this is the back. So it's eight years in the making. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this one out. So let me just take the lid off. So this is the kit that I got. So they have several different kits, but this is the one that I got because I just wanted to start off with these uh, like neutral colours first. So you get everything you need apart from like the slip solution, but I use 70% rubbing alcohol. This is what I use. So this is 70% isopropyl alcohol. That's what I use. Um, I get that one off of eBay. So first off, you get this little card, which I think is really, really nice. I like the colouring on the card. I think it's really, really pretty. And then on the back, you have um, like their Facebook and their um, email address as well. So if you have any problems, you can contact them easily, which I think is really, really good. You also get a book as well, which is step by step on how to apply um like the dual forms and everything so just in case anybody is new i will just hold that so in a uv it would be two minutes in led 30 to 60 seconds i always do that uh, 60 seconds anyway just to be on the short side and then on the back you just have this on the back so I cannot wait to start digging into this. So first off, you get a top coat and a base coat. So this is what the base coat looks like. It looks like a nice, nice consistency. It's a normal gel smell. So it's not like offensive or anything. Um, this is the top coat. So these are glass bottles as well and they are 8mm. So this is what the top coat looks like. So it's not too much of a bad smell, but we will see because I did see another review and it was quite stinky, but it's all about personal personal preferences. Um so you get a 100 180 washable file, which is really really nice. So that's very handy and it's quite a sturdy one as well, so it's quite sturdy so that's really really good um get some dual forms now <laughs> I, do, I can use dual forms but i have very 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 tiny fingers so like these will probably be all too big um so that's a six let's see if i can find anything smaller six six sorry about my phone going off okay we'll just try this one because this one looks like it's the smallest one i won't be doing the door forms today but that's what they look like so that is the curve on them so that is what it would look like and i like that it's got the um uh, the markings on it so you can have them all the same length so this is the smallest one mm, let's try it on this finger so as you can see the smallest one is too big for me so i would have to shape that that's why i'm not going to do it today um okay these are the colors you get clear white natural pink dark pink cover pink and bean red you also get your brush as well. So it has Gershon written on it. 
um, one end is the spatula that's nice and firm and then the other end is the brush so it's quite a nice angled brush and yeah that does feel softer than my other one mm. I think I'm going to try their brush today What's that one I've had for ages now so I'm going to try their brush today so I'm just going to do a quick swatch today and I will um, build some nails up um, like I did with the Ime Lee one. So I will do the same thing with this one. So I'm, I haven't got any of my clear uh, swatch sticks. They are on the extremely slow boat from China. So I am going to have to improvise today. As though I thought I would do them in these. If you can even see them. You can see my very messy table. So I thought I would do them in these today. Just do it on the back side. Just so you can see what they would look like. Um, and then I will make nails out of them. Okay, well, well I'm going to uh, stick some music on. Um, actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll get it set up and I'll do one normal speed. Just so I can sort of give you what it's like to use it and then I will do the rest sped up but let me just get it sorted I'll be right back okay I'm just going to warm it up just a little bit just in between my hands just because it is very very cold in here today um so the first one we're starting with is clear <laughs> I've got my little dapping dish that's what I used for was using for my acrylic so it's got a little lid so it's quite handy right so this is the clear they did they all come with the little um seal thingy so let's just take some of this out it's a little bit harder to push but that might be because it's quite cold in here could be what it is all right so let's spread that in there Oops, sorry. I have to make sure I'm in frame. So. So, right. I'm going to do it as if I'm using, like, my other poly gels. That's quite easy to move around. That's a little bit... No. I wouldn't say it's too sticky because I have seen another review where it was quite sticky but maybe that could be because of the colours maybe um, okay moving quite easily Get a bit more of this in. It's a little bit awkward trying to do it in these little tips, but I'm improvising. So it would be as if you're using a dual form, it would be kind of the same. So I don't want to get too much. In that bit because this is the clear so I don't want to mess up the clear um, need a bit more over this side not too many bubbles which is good brush is quite nice as well it's quite a nice brush quite like that it's very easy to work with right so that is the clear in there right I will pop this in the lamp and then I'm going to speed through the rest because I don't want it to be too too long and then I will come back at the end okay see you on the other side
okay that is all the colours swatched I hope you can see my lighting is being a bit of a pain today I'm not quite sure why so um, this is what they look like so it's just a rough sort of um, <laughs> a rough sort of idea so that's the clear white natural pink dark pink cover pink and this is bean red so that is what they all look like so oops I had to put my glove on because I was getting it all over my hand right so let's try the um the top coat so hmm We'll see if these tips will actually stay on this stand for me to actually be able to top coat them. I know it looks a bit weird because they're like upside down. I don't know if they will stay on. But as I said, I will um, do some sculpted nails with all of them because I have um, some... Um, Uh, what are they called? My mind's gone blank. Forms, paper forms. I have lots of different ones, so I will sculpt now with each one of these. That clear is pretty good. It's looking a bit yellow because of my light. I can see my reflection of my light. They've all got that kind of tint, but that is my light. So I'm been looking into a ring light one that actually goes on my table rather than my creaky old door sounding one top coat doesn't smell too bad um got something in it let's get that out um so yeah i i have to say i really like this i do i really like it i have to use a little bit more rubbing alcohol than i have with some of the other brands but i have to say i actually really like it i will know whether i like whether i will know how much i like it when um when i sculpt when i sculpt with it i will know i know this looks very odd kind of in the back side of these nail tips but I had to improvise so I hope nobody minds I had to yeah what I might do is I might swatch them onto clear uh, swatch sticks as well right so that is the top coat applied it's a real nice shiny shiny top coat so I will cure these for 60 seconds and then we'll come back at the end and have a look at them properly okay see you in a minute Okay, I finished swatching them all out. This is them all together. I just thought I'd put them on a white background just so you could see. Um, so these are just roughly done. So this is the clear. It looks a bit cloudy because it's just the way that I've done it. But let's see. Oh no, you can still see through it. Look. Look at that. And you can read that. Wow. Obviously, I haven't buffed the back side of these, so... But that is pretty clear. You can read Gersion. You can read Polygel Nail. Let's see if I've got anything smaller. Um, I've got a bundle monster scraper here. So, so you can read that through that. There you go, look. You can read. So, yeah. I really like this clear. It's really, really good. I will get a better view of the clear when I use it. So these, I forgot to say, these are 30ml tubes. So they're really big uh, tubes. So this is the clear. Um, I don't know what is going on with my lighting today. This is the white. And it's a really, really nice white. It's really nice and cured in 60 seconds and that top coat is super shiny and give me one second okay I've adjusted my lights so this is the milky white I really like that it's a really really nice milky white color so that is the white 
this is the natural pink so it's really really nice pink so it's really nice and the top coat is super shiny this is the dark pink so this is the difference between the two so this is the dark this is the um natural pink so that is what they look like together this is the cover pink i would say this is more of a nude color i don't know what you guys think but i think it's really really nice it's a really really nice color it's really nice really like that and this is the bean red i really like this too it's really really nice i like that as well so yeah there you go that is all of them together i think it's really really good i actually really really like it i think it was a bit difficult for me to get out the tubes just because it's so cold in here and you know with my operations and things but once i warmed it up just a little bit in my hands it was really easy to get out so yeah um the top coat um I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's really really strong um I think if you were really sensitive to smell it might be a little bit too strong um but you could easily just use a different top coat if you had a different top coat you could use a different one I mean it's not it's not like overpowering or anything like that because I'm quite sensitive to smells um and I didn't think it was too too bad but it's personal preference really um and yeah, I like the way these these leveled out. You have to use a little bit more um, alcohol than some of the other ones I've used, but that's not too bad. Um, it's sort of like it's firmer than models one, um, much firmer than that because that is like super super soft. So it's kind of it's kind of in the middle, but it is really easy to kind of move about. Um, so yeah, I really really like it. I can't wait to actually try this on some um of the paper forms and actually build a nail with it. Um I can't wait to do that. So yeah, I will crack on with that. If you want to see it, let me know. If not, I will just do it off camera. Um but I will record them anyway, but yeah, let me know if you want to see them down below. And um yeah, if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I will try. Um, let me know what you think about these colours. I actually really, really like them. Um, I know it is a bit of a weird way for me to sort of like do them <laughs> on the reverse side. But at least you can see what they kind of look like shaped like that, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think down below. And I will leave the link to um, where I got this from on Amazon. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my quickish review. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to see me um, create nails with this. Okay, well, thank you very, very much for watching. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.